beautiful strangers, welcome to Cat Reacts. I'm Cat and I react to old films. It just depends on what you guys want me to react to. I take suggestions here in the comment section down below, and I also take suggestions uh, on my Patreon page, which you guys can become a member of. The link is in the description box down below. And just to remind you guys, the suggestions that come through on my Patreon page, they take priority because those people are paying. Today's film is a little bit different. As you guys remember, I watched um, Freaky Friday from 1967, not long ago. That was a request from a Patreon. However, that particular Patreon, Autumn in New England, I see you. That particular Patreon requested Freaky Friday from 2003 specifically. Whenever I don't react to the original one, you guys come after me in the comment section. Yes, you are relentless, you are brutal. But I love you guys nevertheless. So what I decided to do after watching the 1967 version, because Autumn in New England was very specific on it had to be the 2003 version, I decided that I was going to react to that one as well and just do a comparison. And you guys seem to like that idea. So here we are. On a Friday, it is a Friday, so it's a, a very good day to uh, react to this film. This film came out when I was 15, and I vaguely remember seeing it when I was about 16, I think it was. And I remember it starring uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, who is one of my all-time favorites, and Lindsay Lohan. She was all the hype at that time. I'm sad how uh, how that turned out. Anyway, I was actually... Uh, yeah, I, I liked the film then, I think. Uh, yes, I, I, I do have, like, a memory of feeling like it was a great film or, or something like that. I hope um, it's gonna be a good film. I mean, I just want to go back and see if my memory serves me correctly. And if not, then um, that's just a Friday wasted. But I don't think that's gonna happen. But if you guys want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on and let's go. You little brat. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little stud right here, okay? No, I don't want my maid of honor looking like a little harlot. You're ruining my mahi. End of discussion. Feet down. Okay, if I can drive. Did you bring your permit? I can't find it. You can't find it? Ha <laughs> ha! What did you do with it, troll? Oh, Anna, why do you always have to blame him for everything? What? Baby brothers are for blaming everything. That's what they're there for. I should know I have one. Love him to death, but he's good to have around if I need someone to, uh, to take the blame. Mommy didn't hear that. Oh, look, there's Stacy Hinkow. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Mrs. Coleman. Say hi to your mom for me. Okay, hi. You never see Stacy anymore. She hates me now. Why? Would you leave your brother alone? I know that. I'm 34 years old. My brother's turning 30. Still to this day, if we are together riding in a car with our parents or if we're anywhere with our parents and my brother starts to, you know, flick me off or bugging me, my mom takes his side. Mom, I know you're watching. You know it. Bye, honey. Make good choices. I can't believe it. It's Jake. Mm. Wow, what a Greek god. <sighs> Why would I want a leprechaun ice sculpture? Because leprechaun ice sculpture sounds awesome. I want that in my life. You know, it probably melts before I got it home. But that's not the point. The point is, it's leprechaun ice sculpture. You know, when I'm done filming, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find myself a leprechaun ice sculpture. My husband's just gonna have to deal with it. I don't really understand this ABC system. When I was growing up, we had the from 0 to 10 system. So that means that between 0 and 4.5, that was a fail. But from 5 to 10, that was a pass. So if you got like 3, 3.1, 3.2, you failed. But if you got like... Eight. That was good. Nine. Great. Ten. Fantastic. I really don't understand this F. You completely missed the point of the book. It's 1984. About a rigid society dominated by one all-powerful ego-tripping dictator. My grade is final. Except he had hair. Hello, Anna. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, are you okay? I, I thought you forgot about me. I could never forget about you, Evan. I see you every day. Am I going to see you tomorrow? You're going to see me tomorrow, but not next week, because remember, I'm going on my honeymoon. I've had a better week. I can imagine. Love, this is not okay. I could not be a psychiatrist. I could listen to my friends' problems all day, every day. They know I'm there for them anytime they need it. But listening to strangers' problems all day, every day, I'd probably go nuts myself. Oh. Wow, proud of yourself, girl? 
What the hell? What is wrong with you? <sighs> Stacy, stupid. You're on the same team as her. Come on. <laughs> well, she had it coming. Hey, hey, hey. Why didn't you do anything before? Stacy just knocked her over twice and then pushed her. Absolutely not. I said no, Salmon. It has to be halibut. Is this yours? Wow, that was wonderfully cliche. What do you play? I play my dad's old Telecaster. Nice. So you're in a band? Sorta. We're still stuck in our garage phase. Well, if you ever get out of the garage, let me know. Yeah, totally. You want a ride? Oh, uh, I just realized I have to meet my friends and... They're waiting for me. Your mom would kill you. So dead. Why? Motorcycles are awesome. When my husband and I started dating, he had a motorcycle, and I used to ride on the back of it, and it was so much fun. It was so freeing. No, I get it. Moms and motorcycles. Just thinking maybe if you wanted to, we could get together and Call check my out. Yeah. I remember this song. I remember thinking that this was a wicked cool song. And I think I remember relating to this film because I used to be, like, not in a band or anything, but my personality would lean more towards them rather than people like Stacy. Oh! Oh, sweetheart! <laughs> this is actually quite good, though. <laughs> Anna! I promise you there will be serious consequences for her. Hey, Jesse! Hey, Dad! What is this? I don't want to know. What's up? Hey, what do you have under your shirt? Ryan, could you? Oh. Time's up. It's after six. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. I thought she was just being mean. Now we can hear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> just one second. One second. You don't have time for this man that you're about to marry, sweetie? Hello. Yes, this is she. Oh, really? Thank you, thank you so, so much. What? One of the bands dropped out of the Wangle Tango auditions, and we are the first alternate. Oh, Shut oh, up! That's yes. Yes. When is it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. So? That's my mom's rehearsal dinner. Come on, this is really important. Can someone explain a rehearsal dinner for me? I've never been able to understand this concept. Why do you need to rehearse a dinner? Like, I get if you need to rehearse, like, the wedding itself. You go in, you talk to the priest, the priest tells you where to stand, what to do, all that, you know, when's your cue, all that stuff. But what do you need to rehearse at dinner? It's just a dinner day. You're just inviting people over for dinner because you got married. Don't worry, I would never let you guys down. I'm gonna talk to my mom. We're screwed. Yep. I don't think he knows I even exist. It's so stupid to think about him, but I can't help it. Look, why are you so drawn to your sister's bedroom? What's so excited about being in your sister's bedroom and putting on her bra? Sweetie, your mom's a psychiatrist. Take advantage of it. <laughs> Wait, did she take off the door? Did she steal the door? Why? Mom, do you see what happened to my door? Do Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good. You're in trouble. Big trouble. I spoke to your principal. Where is my door, Mom? Your door will be returned to you, Anna, if and when. <sighs> You I need explain. my door! Maybe you can just calmly explain to me why you were in detention twice today? It was only because Stacy Hinkhouse kept hitting me on the head with a volleyball. Because she's an insane psycho freak. And you'd know that if you paid like a speck of attention. I think you know I pay attention, Anna. I'm not so sure, love. You got like gazillion phones. You barely had time to kiss the man you're about to marry when he got in. I'm not so sure that you have time to pay attention to your own daughter. You got an F in English today? Mr. Bates is out to get me. You know, he just looks for ways to torture me. Like today, the one time Jake even spoke to me, he totally... Who's Jake? He's just this really amazing guy, Mom. Where'd you meet him? Detention. <laughs> That's promising. Why do I even bother telling you anything? Who's up for Chinese? Ah! You're ruining my life! I am relating to this film on a deeply personal level because my mom and I, we didn't see eye to eye at all. When I was a teenager, oh my goodness, we were banging our heads together on a daily basis. And it was just this typical, you know, mother-daughter thing. We were not friends. We're friends today. I love my mom to death today. She's one of my best friends. 
But my goodness, did we not get along when I was a teenager. Hello, Hello how are you? Your door is underneath the back stairs. Like I didn't figure that out. Let her come to you. Mm -hmm. She'd come with a hatchet. Anna, do you really think that your surliness is the best way for you to get what you want? I'm sorry, Mom. I'll try and do better, Mom. I'll really, really try. All right, what do you want? To yeah. this really important audition that we're having tomorrow night that we can never have again at the House of Blues. Tomorrow, you mean after the rehearsal dinner? Well, during. Anna, I need to talk to you right now. Don't treat me like one of your patients. Oh, Mama, stay out of it, please. This lady is strange. I don't trust her. Why can't I just go? Please. And what I hear is that my special night means absolutely nothing to you. Why should it? It's a rehearsal dinner. She's gonna be there at the actual wedding and the actual wedding party afterwards. You are not going to the audition. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Why not? Because I said so. Cookie. Wow, you showed up out of nowhere. This isn't really a good time. No, good time. Okay. Thank you. You see that look? You see that? No. Don't ever trust a person that looks at you this way. No, 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 no. A journey soon begins. When what you see is what you lack. Then selfless, selfless love, love will change you back. back. Ah! Honey? You okay? Yeah. Shoot, that brought back trauma. I have been in an earthquake, a big one, and that is not fun. Did you feel that? Feel what? There was an earthquake. No, there wasn't. Yes, there was. Okay, wait, blah, 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 blah. stop, stop, stop. We had a weird Chinese lady do some sort of an Asian voodoo, then we had an earthquake that nobody uh, else found, but they're still them. They haven't switched. I'm confused. An earthquake? No, there was no oh, but... earthquake. Okay, so now they've switched? Better get up. I'd better... Why am I in Anna's room? This isn't mine. Those aren't mine. It's not mine. Ah! Anna, come here quick! What? Mom's dead! What? What do, you, what do you mean, dead? She's not moving! Oh my god. It's breathing. Her chest is moving. Honey, see? You call me honey. Are you sick? I hope so. Go get your own breakfast. You can eat Anna's cereal. My cereal. Cool. And he's not even questioning it. Hello in there. Wake up! <laughs> Imagine having to do this every morning with your teenager. Like, pulling them out of bed. Look, I think something's happened to us. Yeah, I think. It's me. Mom. You're not my mother. Don't you use that tone with me. Oh my god, you are my mother. And you're not who you think you are. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Okay, what? I have no idea. Well, just trace it back. What did you do before all this happened? Why don't we like... Yes, you go over there and I go over here. Okay. What are you gonna do? Jump on each other? I am on the <gasps> oh. Ow! Oh. oh, poor kid. He's like, what the hell? Harry! What do you want, punk? <laughs> Maybe we are crazy. I, for one, am not crazy. I'm merely a grown woman trapped in my daughter's body. Oh, God, I am crazy. Yeah. Grandpa, did you pass the milk? Harry's still Harry, and Grandpa's still Grandpa. Grandpa! Pass the milk! Earthquake! 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 How's the chain? Ding, ding, ding! Earthquake! 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 Uh, love, you've got a very confused senior on your hands. Don't let him out of your sight. I, I guess you're not, not ready yet, huh? Sweetheart, what are you doing here? I thought you said you needed a ride to work. Could you, like, chill for a sec? Sure, I'll chill. Alan, that's not our car! What are we gonna do now? I can't go to school like this. I could go and take the exam for you. You think you can be me? Well, she kind of has to. Because I don't really know how American high schools work, but I'm Sure, they're not big on the parents coming in and taking the test for the kids. Watch me. Oh, everyone's out to get me. You're ruining my life. Uh... Well, it's easy to be you. I'll just suck the fun out of everything. I do not suck the fun out of everything. Fun sucker. <sighs> what? Evan. Who's Evan? Oh, my neediest patient. I've been seeing him every day for the past three years. Three years? Oh my god, honey. If you haven't made any progress with the man for three years, 
I hate to break it to you, he's not gonna get any better. Don't piss ass. Well, I'd be such a sucky psychiatrist, my god. No, oh, wait, uh-uh. I am not babysitting some 40-year-old whack job. I mean, what am I supposed to say to the freak? Nothing. Just listen attentively, not occasionally. And if you must speak, simply say, how do you feel about that? You're serious. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. I feel so bad for him. Feet down. Ooh. Platinum, cool. Don't even think about it. Am I supposed to follow this? No. It's nothing, darling. Here is the number for the cab company. I want you back here at 11.45 sharp. Oh my god. Uh, can I go? Why? Hey, Anna. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Do you know him? Yeah. Kinda, uh, that's Jake. No. No. Just look at him. Come on, stop being such a judgmental bitch. Say hi back or I'm gonna break up with Ryan. Hi, this is my mother, Dr. Coleman. Hi. Awkward. It's a great bike. What? Not like I've ever been on it. I'm not allowed. <laughs> I mean, I I'm allowed because I'm old. <laughs> okay, where are we going next? Harry's school? Oh, he can walk from here. It's 20 blocks. <laughs> Fresh air will do you good. But what about bullies? Run fast. Oh my god. He's probably thinking that his mom hates him, and he doesn't understand why. Stacy, hi, how are you? Wonderful. Stacy, what are you doing? Ow! Ow! Stacy, are you mentally behind? What? What the hell was that? Are you okay, Anna? I am appalled that Stacy would do something like that. Yeah, shocker. Oh. I am going to be calling her mother. Well. Whoa, whoa, what? whoa, whoa. What? Uh, cold sore. I don't Big care. Oozer. No, 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 really, I'm thinking of you. Really? Oh, okay. boy. Good thing, I guess. <laughs> hey! <laughs> She looks great. Dr. Coleman's office. I'm calling to confirm your root canal appointment. Root canal? That's not fair. They're not my teeth. I'm cutting the dentist. Yeah, cancel. You're here. Oh. 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 Um, yeah, I'm I'm here and you're here. Are you canceling the session? No, Kevin. Evan! <laughs> Evan! E this dude needs medication. Three years of therapy has clearly not done anything for him. He needs medicine. Yo, $10,000 for what? Halibut, ew! Well, I'm not gonna pay for it. Yeah, I'm canceling. Oh. So, Ethan. Evan! Evan, I knew that. <laughs> Bates, I've seen him before. Where have I seen him before? Like every day in this torture chamber? Ms. Coleman. What are the central conflicts in Hamlet? Political, of course, because Claudius usurped his father's throne. And then there is a timeless question of insanity. Is he really seeing his father's ghost, or is he simply mad? That is seriously overreaching. F. F? F. Why do you have it out for this girl? Why do you, why do you hate her so much? <laughs> and how do you feel about that? <laughs> Honey, is your brain leaking? Mr. Bates, may I please speak with you? I think that'd be fairly pointless, but go ahead. How could I get an F? I mean, what mistakes did I make? That was a college-level analysis. In the words of Hamlet, what's done is done. That's Macbeth. Bates. Elton Bates. Griffith High School. How do you know that? You asked me. I mean, my mom to the prom, but she turned you down. Oh. This is not an appropriate subject. And now you're taking subject. it out on her daughter, aren't you? OK, now we have a reason. A stupid reason, but it's a reason. He should be disqualified as a teacher. Just my opinion. I'm sure the school board would love to hear about your pathetic vendetta against an innocent student. By the way, Elton, Ooh. she had a boyfriend, and you were weird. Oh, poor Elton. You totally destroyed him. So weird about your mom. Oh, yeah, what did she say? About what? About the audition. Oh, right. She said no. What? And she sympathizes, but don't give us this, Anna. She is totally ruining our lives. You are the culprit. 
Come on, Annie, you said it yourself. Your mom hasn't paid any attention to you since she started dating that guy. If it were any other night but tonight. Whatever, Anna. Well, you're actually doing a fantastic job of doing what your daughter's constantly accusing you of. Destroying her life. Oh my god. What have you done to me? Get out of the car right now! Do you have your permit? No. Hi, hi, hi! You're back so soon! Hi, hi, hi! We'd like to speak to you about something that we think happened to us at your restaurant. Yeah, something that sucks. Mama! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! You come back here! Yeah, that is the behavior of a guilty woman, and she knows it. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Did you give them the fortune cookie? What did she say? She's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that should teach you to butt out. How would you handle this situation, honestly? If you swapped bodies with one of your parents, would you be able to deal with it? Do you think they would handle your life? Mom? Yeah, whatever. What can I say about Harry? He is a sweet boy. <clears throat> but he's having a little trouble with bullies. That's character building. <laughs> Kid needs to toughen up. He's kind of a wimp. You know, he's very good in English. I, um, I had the class write an essay on who they admire most, and he wrote a wonderful paper about your daughter. Oh. <laughs> What'd she say? She showed me the paper you wrote about Anna. You saw that? Mm-hmm. Well, don't tell her I like her. We have too much fun fighting. Oh! <laughs> this kid is adorable. Why this falling out? We were best friends in sixth grade. S yeah. Sixth grade is like when you were, what, 12? So you go from... The American school system um, confuses me. In Iceland, it's very simple. Elementary school is from first grade, when you're six years old, till 10th grade, when you're 16. Then you graduate, you go on to high school. You're in high school from 16 to 20, then you graduate, and then, if you want to, you go to university. If not, fine. We don't have this college stuff or anything like that. It's just elementary, high school, university. Why does this have to be World War III? Sit with me. Communication. That's all it takes. Nope. Don't trust this woman for a second. <gasps> Oh, you again. Look at you. What do you mean, you again? Who who was it supposed to be? Got a surprise for you. Is it common in America that uh, people who are getting married do not live together? Because I noticed they don't. Okay, relax, open. Huh? I got you on the Dottie Robertson show. Well, brilliant, love, but this is, you're kind of forcing her. What if she didn't want to? What if she's, you know, afraid of the stage or something? To talk about that book? Mm. Break a leg, honey. Oh. I didn't want to say anything to you because... We're uh, ready for you now, Dr. Coleman. I know you get nervous, but you're going to be great. Watch your step. <laughs> what is this thing? Through the looking glass, senescence. Senescence? What? D squared times the sum of pi cubed divided by D minus 2. Now, what is pi again? 3 point something? 3.14. D cubed minus the sum of pi squared minus D2. Miss Brown, she's copying my test. Told you, never trust a blonde snake. Hey, cheater. I did not cheat. Don't you smirk at me. If you're so perfect, then why are you in detention all the time? I, I'm not in detention, I work here. What would you say if I told you I could help you finish your test? Anna Coleman. Oh my gosh, thank you. I hope you haven't finished your test. You really are something, Jake. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Loved your book. I actually read this one. The next one of us. We're here with Dr. Tess Coleman, author of Through the Looking Glass, Senescence in Retrograde. So, doctor, tell us about your new book. This is not gonna go well. Senescence, like senile. Mm -hmm. Old people. Got it, got it. There is a clue hidden in the cover of the book, love. Old woman looking at herself as a young woman, looking worried. Wh what are you doing? Why are you sinking to her level, really? Why are we so tired? Because they spend all their time obsessing about these stupid, lame things they don't really have to do. Cleaning? Let's don't and say we did! I, I, I don't remember reading any of this in your book. Oh my god. What? That's my mom. Anna, sweetie, maybe not stop in the teacher's lounge if you don't want to get noticed. You know, you keep all that bottled up. No wonder you're getting old. 
God, your mom's cool. I've got to get home. I've got to get home. The woman is crowd surfing. Listen, I need you to give me a ride. I'm late for my second job. Just give me the ride. You know what? I'm just going to be very honest with you. You seem really different than the person I thought you were. I mean, I saw what you did to Stacy's test. Good luck, Anna. Come on! Don't let her retake the test! <gasps> Excuse me, is Dr. Coleman coming out soon? Uh, Dottie had her escorted from the building ten minutes ago, sir. Look, she signed my butt. Not really what he wants to uh, see the day before he's supposed to marry this woman. Mrs. Coleman? Jake, what are you doing here? I work here. Ramones. Love the white stripes. Can't stand them. Oh, I know. Me neither. I love this song. Am I so lame that I would love Baby One More Time? Not this cover's classic. Yeah, beautiful. What is going on here? I don't like this. Give me a sign. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? It's not the age difference that is bothering me. I couldn't care less about the age difference. It's the fact that she's Anna's mom. Uh, I gotta go. Don't go. No, no. I have a wedding rehearsal. <laughs> okay, whose? Mine. Are you serious? What did you think was gonna come out of this, honey? What, do you think that this was the start of something very beautiful and romantic? No. Look, you're not really getting no, married, are you? I feel like I know you. I have to go. Let me at least give you a ride. Okay. Red roses and blue. Yes! Where have you been? Mom, he is so awesome. Who? Jake. Oh, please, Mommy. Can I go out with him? Please, please, please. You're 15. Well, I shouldn't say much. I really, really, really don't want to get married. Well, I don't think you're all that thrilled about me getting married either, Anna. <sighs> do what you want. Marry the dude. Just don't make me do it, okay? Well, then you're gonna have to switch. Somehow. I was wondering what you were doing on the eve of our wedding, straddling some guy on the back of a big black Harley. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Some fantasy you're trying to get out of your system? He's a friend of mine. My mom wouldn't let me go out with him, so... I just had to beg her to check him out for me. Okay. She actually came to find that he's a very together young man. And she approves. Okay. Wow. That's a big step. Uh-huh. Let's do this thingy. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis is so crazy talented. I get so jealous sometimes. I mean, this woman is a phenomenon. No, now, but because my loneliness. My guy, are you crazy? Get away! Hit me, baby! Oh! Ow. What are you doing? How can you possibly entertain ideas about you and a woman her age? I, I know it's unconventional, okay? And I know nothing can happen. I'm not stupid. I just... Then why are you there? For God's sake, Jake, you really need to find someone your own age. You're beautiful, okay? But you're not her. Stop it! I'll give you one thing. He definitely likes you for your mind. A journey soon begins, its prize reflected in another's eyes. Lack, then selfless love will change you back. <gasps> what? Jake. What? Why? He must have followed us here. I am so confused. Just listen to us. We are half a block away from the House of Blues. Just tell them you're going to the bathroom. Come, do the song. You'll be back before they know you've gone. Wow. My guy, you are really, really stretching here. Oh! oh. Jake. Believe me, it is not me you like, it's Anna. Oh. Yes? Oh, found it! Anna's friends decided to crash. You know anything about this? I think they're trying to get Anna to go to an audition at the House of Blues, which of course had to be tonight. But I said no, she had to stay here. I know it's not important to you and that she's just a girl in a stupid rock band. Uh, well, Dr. Coleman, dude, couldn't we just borrow Anna for like 20 minutes? Go. Thank you, thank you so much. I told you he wouldn't totally ruin your life. Thank you, Mr. Dude. You rock. Yeah, Mr. Dude, you do. You rock. Do you like not want to get married now? No, I don't. Not if you're gonna put me on this roll. When I fell in love with you, I knew you came with a history and a family, and I respect the hell out of that. I never pushed Anna because I want her to like me on her own terms. You should be over there. That's where you want to be. Cheering her on. That's where I want you to be. Go. I can hold down the fort here for 20 minutes. All right, I found my favorite character in this film. Wow. He is super understanding and supportive. This guy's a rare gem. What, what are you doing? What's wrong? I can't do this. You rock harder than anyone I know. <laughs> well, well, the rocking may be in short supply tonight, girls. I know you're stressing, okay? We all are. 
I just really want us to take this shot, okay? Wow, these are great friends. Okay, 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 I'll try. This is Coleman. Ah! Jake, stop! Listen to her, Jake. You are coming across as very, very needy and pathetic. And slightly creepy. Yeah, but... Please, no! Oh my... Oh boy. This is not gonna be good. This is not good. I am stressing out right now. I'm all wrong, you're right, it's all the same with you On and on and on Same What are you doing? I can't do this. It's okay, Mom. I unplugged you. Oh, this must be so painful. Oh! Well, go, Mom! Or, you know, Anna, or... Just go! That was actually quite cool. I think you guys are definitely in. Yeah, right. Oh, it was terrifying. I had no idea what it takes. I mean, the guts. It's exciting, your music. It's not noise. Well, it's definitely not noise. Well, there you go. Seeing things from each other's perspective. She is. I have to ask you to do something for me. After what you just did for me? Anything. I need you to tell Ryan that you need to postpone the wedding. What? No, listen. Why? I can see you're not ready for this. I can wait. Well. Okay, Mom. What, are you going to tell everybody that the wedding is, is postponed? Maybe that's something you should just tell him. Three years ago, we had a really bad thing happen in our family. We lost a father and a husband. Oh. But then, this guy next to me came into the picture. And everybody could see I was happy again. But I was still really worried about my kids. Whether they'd be able to accept... Uh, a new man in their life. And and now I know how Anna feels. That for someone as special as Ryan, that we would all just make a little room. Oh. Yeah, no, everybody feels it? So they switch back? Yeah. I'm such a sucker for weddings. There's so much love. Thank you for everything. I love you. I love you too. Was he invited? A guy that was hitting on the mom a day before her wedding. Okay. Sure. I feel really stupid. <laughs> I, I see your mom and I like her. I mean, I like her. Like her. Yeah, you liked her, liked her. That's why you've been stalking her. Do you think we could just rewind this whole thing and start again? I think that'd be best. And I, I... You ask that girl to dance. Go on over there. Stop bugging me. Boy, it's true. Youth is wasted on the young. You go ask her then, you old fart. Why, if I was your age... You stay away, you sorcerer. Grandpa, Harry! No! <laughs> oh! Well, Grandpa's dead. She sent him to an early grave. Okay. Let's talk about it. All right, that was me watching Freaky Friday from 2003. It was good. Did I think it was better than the one from 1967? Yes and no. I can't really compare them, to be honest. I can't really say that one was better than the other because, yes, they were both Disney, and yes, they both had the same core storyline, you know, mother-daughter switch and all that. The, the first one was very catered to, obviously, the 50s and 60s. You know, the mom was a stay-at-home mom, she was married and all that stuff, but they had an epic car chase. And this one was sort of like, you know, mom was career-oriented and, you know, there was a broken family that was getting whole again and all that stuff. So, both of the films had very good qualities of their own. So, I, I don't know. I, I, I like them both. I'm interested to, uh, to hear what you guys say. Uh, did you like this one better? Did you like the original one better? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. You can go to my Patreon page, become a member. You can go to my Facebook page, like there. And you can just share this video all around so we can get more people to join on this beautiful journey of ours of discovering all these films. And I'll see you in the next video.